So a week ago, it, my toilet started feeling super slow, like taking 10 plus minutes to fill the tank back up. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And when I looked at it, I never had experienced one of these kind of tanks before. It's called a Niagara flapperless toilet. And so, and it's by Glacier Bay. I think there's another company that makes them as well. And so I was trying to figure out what was going on and I had a hard time um, finding any video that really showed me what to do. But I did find one video that showed one that they were repairing something else and it showed how it worked. And the water is supposed to come out from here and really flow out kind of like a, um, well, it just really flows out from under here. And mine does not. Mine. I'll show you in a minute. It just was trickling out from over here really slowly. And again, because I don't take the lid off until something's wrong, I didn't know where the water was supposed to be coming. So I checked. I thought, well, maybe there's something wrong. I've got kids. So I thought maybe they have loosened up or um, closed off the water to the toilet. And that's why it's going so slowly so I tried tightening and loosening that and that wasn't an issue but let me show you what is going on and then I will explain what the actual issue is so when I flush it goes like that and I don't know if you can tell or not but there is just a little bit of water coming out and there's also some now spraying out from here which it should not be doing uh, that's actually new since I uh, ordered the part that I think we need. But it should actually be all coming out from around here. So if your water, if you're having a problem like me and your water is only coming out from here or if it's spraying crazy up there, then your toilet is not working correctly, which you've probably already guessed and gathered by the fact that it's taking forever to fill up. So what I think is the problem is there is a, actually let me turn the water off so we can hear. What I think is the problem is there's actually a little diaphragm in here. I'm calling it a diaphragm. I don't know if that's actually the name of it. So I'm going to undo this so you can see. I'm just screwing off this whole fill valve. And these parts, oh, you're just looking at my arm, that's not helpful. So this will actually, oh, my piece came out. Well, screw apart, even if you, even two different parts, let's see. Okay, maybe you can see now. So I just detached, I just detached the um, different parts of the fill valve. And on this piece, there is this little black, what I was calling the diaphragm. I don't know what the technical term is, um, but it is broken. So there's still a piece of it right there. This should actually be one black piece that just has a little small hole. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little hole in it so that this pin right there can go through it. And so this broken piece is what I think is causing the um, issue of the water going so slow and going out the wrong part because once that piece broke, it's no longer acting as a, um, it's no longer cutting the water off and keeping it out of the other section, out of this section. Because when the water gets stopped, it actually forces it to go under here. It forces it into this part. And then once this little tank fills up, then it, all comes out of these little holes underneath. So that is 
a layman explaining <laughs> how I think it works. But regardless, we're going to replace this part today. So I ordered, you can find them in store too. And, um, but I ordered it because my local hardware stores didn't have one in stock. So I just got this online, the toilet valve replacement from Fluid Master. And so hopefully once we replace this piece, it will function like it should. So it's got some instructions in there. I feel pretty confident about how to connect it. Oh, let's see. It may have the actual name. Okay, so that disc that I was calling the diaphragm, it's actually called a disc shut off seal because it's shutting off the water to that section. Um, but anyway, so let's fix it and see if this works. So all I'm going to do is screw this back onto this. And in theory, once I turn the water back on, it should, if that was the problem, come out of this area. So let's give it a try. Excellent. And so now you can see that is filling it up way quicker where before it was just doing that one little drip area from there and then some spray from up here. Now it came out from there like it should and it filled it up really fast. So anyway, I hope that this helps. I hope now if you are wondering like me where the water was supposed to come out, you at least know now that it should be coming out from there. And it is a super quick fix. Just a matter of hanging on to this, twisting this off, and putting on a new one.